Hey guys, Justin of Binge 55 Restorations here. Um, another walkthrough video of a vintage refrigerator. Uh, this is a international harvester. Um, a lot of you car people or farm people will recognize that name. Um, they were known for um, obviously tractors. They ended up doing light trucks. Now they all, all they have is large trucks, but they got their start doing farm equipment, um, plows, tractors, you know, mechanized stuff. Um, and they had a system of franchises and dealers all over the country, mostly rural areas that sold all of their farm equipment. So they decided that they wanted to get into the game of refrigerators, um, as most car truck manufacturers did in the 50s, and uh, decided to make a refrigerator. Um, true to the International Harvester name, they're kind of over-engineered, they're super tough. Um, real thick steel, lots of uh, real hefty bolts rather than kind of flimsy stuff on some of the other makes. Um, the compressors go forever on these. Um, the problem was, was they didn't sell them in like Sears or, you know, places like that. They sold them in their dealerships, their international harvester dealerships. So you had tractor, uh, you know, a hay baler, refrigerator, kind of out of place. Um, especially in rural areas in the 50s, a lot of farmers just didn't want to pay money for a refrigerator. So they figured, hey, how do we get, how do we get the, uh, how do we get the farmers to buy something, and you get the wives involved. And uh, the thing is, I mean, maybe it was a chauvinist way of uh, advertising, but whatever it was, it worked back then. Um, and uh, all the husbands were, you know. Yeah, we don't need a new fridge. We don't need a new fridge. And then all the, the marketing that they did towards the wives, and they go, look, it's an international fridge. And they go, oh, well, international harvester, they make a good product, and you get the thing sold. So their biggest thing, their push they did was um, aesthetics because they knew the harvester name would sell itself to the husbands, but to the wives, how do you get them to want an international harvester fridge over something else? Aesthetics. So this is... Uh, 1954 ad, kind of pixelated, um, but uh, as you can see, it says seven new models you can decorate to match your kitchen or leave gleaming white. They're beautiful either way. And what you did was there's a gasket around this, and what it does is it holds in this piece of fabric. Now this is like a, a st it's got embossed snowflakes and gold flakes in it. This originally was white, but uh, it's been real faded now. Um, but there was like 25 different uh, vinyl patterns that you could get installed in here from the factory and you could buy them, change them, redecorate your kitchen. Um, you could also put your own fabric in there. So it was uh, sold kind of as a color key option that you can do stuff with. Uh, and they called it Femineering. <laughs> so this is a Femineered International Harvester Fridge. Um, you can see the uh, International Harvester logo, just like on the tractors and everything on here. This is actually designed by Lowy, and the IH, if you look at it straight on, he was known for his design work. That's supposed to be a man riding a tractor towards you, which is pretty cool if, uh, if you know that. So anyway, decent sized fridge. They made different makes and different years and different sizes and all that kind of stuff, but um, they had some, kind of some cool options. You see the International Harvester badging throughout it. Um, this has uh, slide open doors, extra uh, shelving all the way down, big bunch of glass shelving, a bottom drawer, a meat drawer, your freezer, and then this one's an international harvester only thing. This is full of water. Um, this is a meat keeper for like like flat meat and uh, um, uh, deli meat, <clears throat> stuff like that. Um, but it also worked as your catch pan for your uh, your freezer. So there's a drain in here that goes down there into that when uh, when you want to defrost it. That's your catch pan. So they had, kind of had a dual function. But um, all of this stuff really cool. You can see the uh, kind of the international styling, uh, the travel all and truck of '56 right around then had this. It looked dude, go look them up. The grill. On the travel all, looks a lot like that. Um, they took the same kind of styling cues because it was the same people working on them. But uh, anyway, pretty cool. This is the only uh, 
original fabric or vinyl uh, international fridge that I've come across. I've come across quite a few of the steel bodied ones, but these feminine versions with the, the gasket included and everything, this is the only one I've actually found intact. Um, even though it's faded, it's still got that original vinyl, which is super cool. So, International Harvester, feminine for 1954. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you next time.